and as promised, a Hollywood screenwriter, S.S. Wilton. But you're more than that. You're also a director and a novelist. Nice to have you with us, Steve. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Codename S.S. Wilton, I suppose. <laughs> that, that's your, your pen name when you're, you're putting it on screen. I, I picked that out when I was in high school, long before I ever knew I would be in the film business. It's I, like sophisticated. I just thought Steve Wilson is a really forgettable name, so... <laughs> There's a lot of Wilsons out there. Well, and, and women do that, you know, just because it's easier to, you know, have them not be known as women if they're going to be successful somewhere or another. They choose. Oh, some of our best science fiction writers, yes. Yeah, you have no idea they're like girls. <laughs> anyway, well, Steve, you, um, we'll talk more about this because we want to talk about something else that you've done too, but you've been writing for a long time. Long time, 25, 30 years. And that's professionally. Yes. Yeah, I mean, did you start as a kid? <laughs> I wish. Uh, no, I, I actually was an animator uh, for, for a long time. I, that was my first interest in the film business was, was really? stop motion animation. And uh, um, I wrote some of the segments in the little short films we were doing. <clears throat> and uh, uh, from that, started writing short screenplays for the short movies. These were movies that were done for schools back in the day when they used to roll a projector out in the classroom oh, and yes, show the oh, movie yes. on the wall. <laughs> That's what those were. And I, I did those for a number of years, me and some friends of mine. And then uh, my writing partner all these years, Brent Maddock, and I wrote uh, Short Circuit on spec and sold it. That was your first Hollywood one. story. Short Circuit was our first big sale, front page of Variety, all of those things. And, uh, uh, yeah, and from then on, it was, yeah, it's been a pretty good ride. <laughs> Well, I tell you, I loved it, and, and I've told you this. Short Circuit is one of my very favorites in the whole world. I mean, I watch it every, every now and then. You know, it's it's one I own copy of, which I I review movies, so I don't own a lot of movies because I don't. You know, there's not a lot you want to watch over and over, but input, input. I mean, that was the cutest thing. Ali Sheedy, Rat Pack. I'm flattered. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, truly, that's absolutely true. Um, is, is screenwriting difficult, or did you find that uh, quite entertaining? Or? Well, it's it's. I mean, my partner and I have a knack for it. So no in one sense. In another sense, every script is different. They always have their difficulties. And, uh, and then the, one of the biggest difficulties is dealing with the rest of the, the system, Hollywood and the producers and the directors and everybody who has input on your screenplay. <laughs> so to say. Uh, <laughs> which is part of what pushed me into writing novels was the desire to have total control. As a screenwriter, you don't have total control. I hear from authors, uh, famous authors who live here, uh, other screenwriters who've uh, said Hollywood bye-bye, you know, not because they weren't <laughs> talented or successful, it's just, it's difficult. So You, you uh, have to be a collaborator. Yes. I, how'd you get the idea for Short Circuit? Just it, it came out of one of the short films that we did for schools. Mm -hmm. That one featured a puppet animation robot. I did the animation. Uh, my friend Ron Underwood, who directed Tremors years later, he directed it and, and set it up at this little, it was a 15 minute movie about a robot helping a girl do her school report. And it was hugely successful in that market. Every school and library in America bought this film. Everybody wanted a robot. And, yeah, everybody, everybody <laughs> wants robots, yeah. And, and, and my partner and I, we had written a few other spec scripts and not sold them, couldn't get an agent, all of those things. And uh, we said, well, let's do one about a robot since that was so successful. And the one germ of the idea that was different from other robot things that were out there was if a robot were really alive, nobody would believe it. You know, mm -hmm. when you think of C-3PO and R2-D2 and all the other robots, well, they really are alive to begin with. And what makes them sentient. And always scared and R2-D2 has an attitude. <laughs> right. And we thought, well, if, the one was really if he was really alive, no one would believe it. And that was the germ of the idea. Yeah. Oh, and I love it. I tell you, again, input was his thing because he wanted to learn, you know, because yes, he, he really wanted to, desperate to learn things. Yeah, check it out. Well, it was that was great. But it wasn't the only one that you did. Uh, obviously, you've done many more tremors. 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 We have this this beautiful, uh, scary looking thing here. This is the, the four DVD, all of the Tremors movies, four DVD set in only available in Germany, this particular set. <laughs> in Germany, it's called In Land and Rocketenwürmer, the land of the rocket worms. Rocket worms. <laughs> is that really like what, what this is about? Rocket worms? Tremors here? <laughs> Tremors is about big underground worms that are trying to eat. Kevin Bacon. Yeah. You know, and I probably saw it years ago. It didn't uh, have, I'm not m as much sci-fi monster oriented as, you know, of course, you know, some of them scared. This reminds me of Jaws, which is like, e oh, well, the poster. Gods, you know? We hated the poster when it came out. <laughs> oh, that's so cheap. Ooh, 
Mm. But it, it did okay in the theaters, but Tremors came out exactly when video was starting back mm. in the day. And it was okay in theaters, just about made its money back. Then it was a huge hit in video, and they began coming to us for more Tremors. So we've done four Tremors movies in our Tremors TV series over the years. Do you get like you run out of ideas like on scary Tremor kind of monsters? On the TV series, we were beginning to worry that we were just <laughs> not going to. Nine years we later. We were at the bottom of the barrel, yeah. <laughs> But we only lasted one season, so the problem was solved. Right. Well, you've got some photos here. What else? I, oh, I yes. Guess there's... scenes, back scenes. Well, here's of... Johnny Five. Everybody has to see Johnny Five. Oh, yeah. That's who everybody wants to see. That's from Short Circuit Johnny to... Five. I tell you, he's so cute. I would just love this. I mean, you get so attached. This anthropomorphizing kind of thing we have where it's not hard for me to believe that a, a robot could be sentient and... You know, be your it's, best it's friend. It's more and more easy to believe, yeah. I know, yeah, it's, it's happening. Yeah. So I guess I do go in some sci-fi, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then Tremors, you've got some These are too. Tremors. That's just proof that I was next to Kevin Bacon one day. That, uh, yeah. How was it working with Kevin Bacon? He was wonderful to work with. Oh, good, he was. Good. He couldn't have been more, well, the whole cast was wonderful. We were very lucky on that movie. It's held up very well. They just had a 25th anniversary screening. Ah, and, congratulations, uh, right? That's awesome. Good. Well, Ali Sheedy saw a picture of her the other day, and she's kind of changed from, yeah. from those years. Wow, look at you, Steve. <laughs> this is, what's there's, with the gun thing? Is this Steve. how you kill the worms? There's the big a worms? very popular character in Tremors. He's a survivalist, played by Michael Gross, fresh off of Family Ties. <laughs> And, uh, and he has a whole room full of guns. And yes, he successfully kills one of the monsters <laughs> in a very popular scene. And Tremors 4, my gosh, it, they're getting better and better weapons on yeah, this yeah, thing, the, you know. The, 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 Obviously, the worms keep coming back if you're on your The worms one. keep coming and the guns keep getting bigger. That's, oh, gosh. That's how Tremors work. Well, and you had others, too. My gosh, Wild Wild West, one of my favorites, the newer version with Will Smith and Kevin Klein, whom I adore. I always say if he came to town, I'd just marry him, you know. <laughs> so he has to watch out for that. And uh, I think what sounds Alma Hayek was in that too. Alma Hayek? Yeah. yeah. Adorable. Very, very funny. Thank you. Um, so I love that one. Land Before Time, another kind of a sci fi. Land Before Time, we didn't actually get credit on, but we had a fair amount of input in it. We spent about a year working with Steven Spielberg in his production company that was called Amblin at the time. And I always put it on my resume because Steven asked us to come in and, and rework the story, but it was an animated thing. And he said, I can't give you credit. I've already promised credit to the guys. <laughs> Uh, he said, but I really like you to, he liked what we were doing on the other pictures we were working on there. So we always put that on there because it was <laughs> such a monster it. hit. Yeah. Well, it, and um, also uh, I watched last night Heart and Souls. Thank you. Heart, yes. singular, souls, plural. Uh, Robert Downey Jr., I mean, this was like 20 years ago, he's a baby. Yes. I mean, it's amazing what 20 years can do. Yeah. It's like, oh my gosh, but he's still absolutely amazing. He is, and like, he was amazing to work with. He, I mean, he's, it, this was fresh off of Chaplin. We were just delighted to get him. And, uh, um, and you know, sadly, for reasons nobody understands, the movie did not do well, because um, it's a perfectly fine movie. I enjoyed Never it to death. In fact, <laughs> well, another one of my favorite uh, more recent movies is Ghost Town with Ghost uh, Ricky Gervais. Oh, yes. And I, when uh, we saw it, my husband and I watched this last night and said, you know what, I bet they got their idea for, from, you know, for Ghost Town from Heart and Souls. <laughs> Maybe. A similar, similar these. idea where these, uh, these spirits, these ghosts, these people who were killed suddenly and uh, unhappily uh, need to want to finish something on Earth. Same, same kind of. I don't think premise. it originated with our movie either. I think that idea has been around for a while. Oh yeah, yeah. Because we, we humans, can lay claim we, to it. <laughs> it is something <laughs> we humans kind of want to do. Well, so but are you still doing a bit in Hollywood? Or are you oh, living? Yeah. You're living locally now. Yeah. So. Yeah, I I, 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 I turned to writing my first novel in in a lull, which you get as a freelancer, uh, and then my second novel, Freddy Cats, I actually did. Um, it was an idea that we could not sell in Hollywood. It was driving us crazy. We thought it was a great idea about two cats who cause all of Dr. Frankenstein's problems. <laughs> Freddy Cats. Uh, oh. Well, uh, yeah, Tucker's Monster Tucker's, was first. Tucker's okay. Monster I right. started when I was uh, a teenager, actually. You know, oh, really? Then it, it, 30, 40 years later, I decided to finish it. And this is a young adult or children's? What is it? It's this? sort of a young adult, I guess. Okay. That's what they tell me. I don't okay. set out to write for an audience. I write... I guess you write for yourself. I, I, I like to say it's for 12-year-old boys of any age. but <laughs> Oh, we won't even go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Frady Cats. Yeah, you got the idea for this in Frady an Cats was a, was a pitch. that my, A pitch is when you try to yeah. sell an idea to, to yeah. the studios. 
This was something my partner and I took around for a couple of years, and we just thought it was a great idea. It's just Dr. Frank, it's the Frankenstein story, but there's two cats who are in the background that he never sees that cause everything to happen. They cause the monster to get the wrong brain, they cause Igor to turn into <laughs> Bella Lugosi. You're going to give cats a bad name. Uh, well, they're pretty friendly, they're pretty funny <laughs> cats, I, I like to think. And I joke, a studio executive told us, I love this idea, and I can't touch it because it's not based on anything. And this is the new Hollywood. It's Are all remakes and sequels. Me? This was the, for, for us, it was the beginning of, oh, wow, it's going to be hard to sell Nothing stuff. fresh. Nothing fresh. He said, I, I can't that touch it. I had that suspicion for a while, but, you know. Yeah. So, they, but he said it to our face. He said, gee, if this was only a book or a comic book, I'd buy it like that. <laughs> We're like, oh, boy. God. So jokingly to my partner, I said, well, I'll write it as a book. And he said, go ahead. So next law, next law we got in work, uh, I did write for you guys. But going back to your other question, yes, <laughs> yeah. we, still, we still have our hand in Hollywood. We have a TV pilot we're circulating now, and we're meeting with a, a producer about doing another screenplay. So hopefully that will come to pass. Yeah. The trouble with a lot of stuff that you write is it never gets made. You know, writing is the cheapest it's good. It's part of the process. It's discouraging. Yes. Know, you, you write it, and they go, eh, no, we don't like it anymore. Um, so and, and they're like your children anyway. Your words are very, you know, oh, you dear to you. Oh, you work just as hard so. on every one of them. Yeah. yeah, so it's always just we're like, why? How come you? I don't understand why you don't like that. Yeah. Bizarre. But hey, now maybe maybe they can have a Friday Now that cats. it's a book and yeah. many people buy it, um, now right. that it's a book, then maybe they'll say, yeah. That's right. It's based on a book now. Yes, by S.S. Wilson. <laughs> so we hope to see the, the film of Freddy Cats and available Amazon Worldwide, all that kind of stuff. Yes. Okay, good. And probably Tucker's Monster is as oh, well. Oh, yes. You can find it. Very fun. Anywhere. And yeah, adults would love this too, right? I think so. I like to think so. S.S. <laughs> Wilson, a.k.a. Steve Wilson. Wonderful to have you with us today. Thank you so much. Sam. Thank you for all the Pleasure. wonderful uh, movies and, and now books that uh, you, you've <laughs> shared out of your heart and mind. Thank you Appreciate very much. It. Don't go away. We're going to take a break. When we get back, herbal remedies. Hey, let's fix ourselves. We'll be right back.